What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Twisted Life of TV. I'm Poetry. This is supposed to be a PNTV, but I don't think I'm going to get there, y'all. I honestly did not really focus on any news at all. I just saw quick headlines. So maybe I could just go over the headlines with y'all. And, and, and that be about it. And not do any really deep diving. Maybe when I feel better, I'll come back on and talk about it some more. But I'm just like, and not in the headspace to talk about too much of anything, for real. Um, just give y'all a little heads up. My Raycons, I am loving them. Um, I have not charged the case yet since I got it. And I think it's still like 94% charged, which means it keeps the little earbuds fully charged. The earbuds last all day. I could walk up to 100 feet away from my vehicle before they even start to break up. Um, maybe once I get a little bit over 100 feet, then uh, the, the it, will, it will drop it already and tell me it's unpaired. But as soon as I get back right at 100 feet, it clicks right back in. The sound quality is awesome. Um, yeah, I'm liking my Ray J's so far for all those who have asked. Um, so, George Santos, they put up another vote to kick him out of his position in, in, in Congress and he easily won that. They decided again not to kick him out. So George Santos still has a fucking job as he's still committing more or or still I ain't gonna say committing more and more crimes. More and more crimes are being uncovered that they are indicting him on. They keep adding subsequent charges to the charges he already have. I don't know how long it's gonna take in order to settle these charges but George Santos should have no fucking job right now. But it seems like that's the pattern. Republicans commit crimes, get indicted on crimes, and they get to keep their jobs when representatives like the Tennessee Three just speak up for injustice and then they, they get ousted. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Um, so, I haven't really did a deep dive again to fix, learn what the count was, but it was greatly in his favor for him to keep his job. Um, Judge E. Why can't in Gorin? Judge in Gorin, he imposed that Ivanka Trump had to testify uh, in court against her father, Donald J. Trump, in the fraud, in the New York fraud case. Um, Ivanka had petitioned the court to not have to testify. I want to say due to relationship, but being that she was a key person in the doggone business, uh, she is required to testify. Um, but this won't be the first time that she's testified against her dad. She testified against him in the January 6th insurrection hearing as well. Um, remember, I think I asked about where the heck was Ivanka while she wasn't on trial in the case. Well, Ivanka was able to have her charges dismissed because of a statute of limitations. So whatever she was being charged for, or uh, then it had already ran out the statute of limitations for her. And that is the only reason she's not sitting down there with her brothers and her dad. Um, Eric, no, Donald Trump Jr. testified yesterday, November 1st. Eric Trump Jr. is testifying today. I still think they got a little carryover from yesterday's trial too. Donald Trump Jr. is a smug ass. I can't stand him. And you can tell he's being very sarcastic when he gives his answers. And he, he likes to think that's charisma. He thinks he's being charismatic. He's just been a smart ass. Um, again, y'all already been found fraudulent. Y'all already been found fraudulent. This case right now in this trial is just to determine how much money y'all motherfuckers going to owe. Now, um, we talked again before about them not being able to do business again in the state of New York um, as one of the things that they could be uh, sentenced with. Um, however, I've just recently learned that that will only apply to Don Jr. and Don Sr. Eric Trump, it won't apply to him. Ivanka, it won't apply to her. Why it won't apply to, uh, to, to, to uh, Eric, I don't know. I have to research a little bit further. And when I get, like I said, get my mind again, get my mind right, I'll come back and 
I'll let y'all guys know that. But, um, yeah, as of right now, it'll be applicable to Donald Trump Jr. and Sr. on whether or not they can still conduct business in the state of New York, which means that the Trump empires may or may not go away. All the 15 businesses that he has in the state of New York may or may not go away. Um, because he can easily pass those businesses on to Ivanka and pass them on to Eric. But it seems like the way the trial is going, they're trying to separate themselves from their father altogether, which is hard to do since they had full operational control of these said businesses that were doing all this fraudulent activity. Um, and the Jack Smith uh, case against Donald J. Trump, uh, Judge Chutkin imposed uh, the partial gag order. I didn't know that the partial gag order had been delayed. Well, we knew that Trump was going to file appeals on different things. With the, there was an appeal filed to delay the gag order in that federal D.C. case, right? Well, of course, Donald Trump gets mad at those temper tantrums, temper tantrums all over social media, which he did uh, in regard to a few key witnesses, one being Mark Meadows and a, a couple other folks. And Judge Chutnik, um, I can call her Chutnik, Chutkin, reinstated the partial gag order. Um, Jack Smith tried to solicit to add on jail time within that partial gag order if he happens to violate. And she denounced that. She denied that. That portion of it is denied. She doesn't feel that there has, it has been directly substantiated in order to impose jail time at this time. Um, but there was something that some subliminal threats supposedly made by Donald J. Trump it sounded kind of mafia-like, you know, <coughs> almost like saying he was going to the mattresses on their ass. Have you seen The Godfather or, you know, all them type of movies, you know where that came from. I need some, I need some water. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Now, my thing is that if he's, um making these type of statements against witnesses in the D.C. case, um, especially being one being Mark Meadows, then he's essentially defy the... Does he have a gag order in Atlanta as well? I thought that Fonnie Willis had already said in the beginning that he wasn't allowed to say certain things and do certain things in regards to that case. So he, he should have a gag order already done. And it's still witness intimidation. Uh, I would I would assume that's how that will work. But again, I'm not a lawyer, so he just ride up on me like that. He did protect my peace, protect my energy, protect my space, protect my peace. not sure exactly what's going on with all these these gag orders left and right that they're not going to follow through on uh they just making little meaningless threats to me and it's really fucking getting annoying to me as a, a citizen of these here united states now um speaker of the house i told y'all they had named the new speaker of the house and i didn't even remember his name it's such a simple name mike johnson um mike johnson is that hard MAGA Republican. Like I said, when, when they voted him in, I said I was shocked because they voted him in. That uh, because everything that uh, a lot everything, but a lot of things that they said that they didn't want Jim Jordan for, this person entails. Um, based off of what I've read about him and the, the way he moved in the politic political game, it, he is. If you want to, like I say, want to do a comparison to a TV show, he is. The, the epic 
the, he is the um, embodiment of what a sons of Jacob person would be. Um, during his first act as the house speaker, he offered in terms of the um, the debt ceiling and the foreign aid. He offered us give fourteen billion dollars to Israel um, with the well, I can't even think right now. What the fuck are you doing? In order for him to give that 14 billion to Israel, then they're gonna have to take that money out of the Inflation Reduction Act and remove it out of the IRS. The IRS is basically what essentially funds the damn government agencies for the most part. You know, I used to work there, remember that? Um, they essentially are the ones that fund that shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, removing money out of the IRS uh, only to me is gonna benefit it's going to cut jobs, first of all. So a lot of people are going to get laid off. Um, there's going to be a lot, a lack of oversight on different taxes, mainly, I believe, to the the higher ups, the rich, the rich, the rich and plenty. That's who is going to benefit. If you ain't got nobody um, watching out for where the money going, or if taxes are coming in and being paid properly, or people not scamming. Uh, then, you know, the, the higher ups, the rich plenty is gonna get get away with a lot of shit, which is what they are are intending to have happen. Because uh, again, remember they're trying to dissolve the IRS altogether. I know we all don't want to pay taxes, but taxes are what fund this fucking country. Let's just be honest about that shit. Everybody always complaining about I don't want to have to pay more taxes. I don't have to pay more taxes. Truly, half of y'all ain't even seeing the difference of the taxes that we paying. Yeah, what y'all worried about is that y'all ain't gonna get a bigger refund. That's all that shit is. And a refund is money that you already fucking work for. If you was doing your damn taxes right, you wouldn't owe nothing or get nothing back in the beginning. If you was doing your taxes right, you wouldn't even have a big refund for real. Oh. But anywho, get back to my point. So It, I, it essentially got knocked down, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, um, it, it it still has to go through different steps to be voted on by uh, the, the other the House and the and, and the White House. And I don't think that that's going to fly. It's going to fly at all. Um, but speaking of, like I said, I, I, said I want to talk about the Israel shit. So I really not going. I don't really want to talk about it specifically. But the fact that I'm seeing on different social media platforms. That a lot of people are choosing not to vote at all in this election due to the Israel or Biden stance on Israel is fucking stupid. It's fucking ridiculous. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I'm, I'm just gonna flat out say that shit. You should be ashamed of yourselves. And you know you don't want to like ostracize or or um, or talk down. Is this bitch keep riding up on my ass or talk down? on my viewers, but I'm telling you right now, you fucking stupid if you don't vote and vote. And you I mean, you stupid if you ain't voting because of that specific reason. Of all the shit that the Biden administration has done to help improve and better the way of life since we left out of the fucking Trump era and because he is agreeing to agree to what America has been doing for years, that's going to be the one reason you say, well, I'm not going to vote. I'm not going to vote. Y'all going to affect the quality of life here in America because he's choosing to side with what America has always done. Now, it may not be what you want him to do. You may stand with whoever side you want to stand with, but the fact of the matter is, we looking at this voting as far as how America is being ran and how it affects us in this country. And there is not another candidate out there right now who foots the bill to be in that office other than Joe Biden right now. Even with all the shit that you may not agree with, there is not one candidate out there right now who can compare. End of story. End of story. So to decide not to vote at all is just idiocy. 
is idiot. It, it's, it's stupid. It's ignorant. I'm kind of tired of talking about it. I'm kind of tired of talking about it. For real. But I just, I don't get voters' mindsets. They take one topic and make that one topic the main reason why they are or are not going to vote on someone. Half the time, majority of the people ain't never even heard about what's going on over, over there. Like, they was like me. They had no knowledge of what really was going on over there. And now that you are aware of what's going on, y'all acting like that, uh, that we are the ones doing the attack. We are standing with our allies. That's basically what is going on. I got some other opinions on but I'm not going to say it right now. Anywho, um, there, there was a story that I'm trying to follow. Um, Phone Jones, she posted it up on her Instagram page, and I meant to go to her channel and watch it. There was this TikTok girl, apparently she's really popular. I be hearing the people talk about these TikTok influencers, and when I heard the name, I'm like, who the fuck are they? I guess I don't know because I'm not on TikTok. But these, this one TikTok girl, go to Phone Jones' uh, page to figure find this out, y'all. And she said she was going to post up a video about it. This girl ended up killing somebody because she was connected with the Mexican cartel. And she was trying to protect her mother's affair or something of that knowledge. I'm going to have to research that more deeply and come back on it. Because that is interesting the hell out of me. Um... But what is going? And they they stress when they make the they put these stories up. Oh, there was a TikTok star. There was a YouTube star. There was this, that, another. They was a regular ass smuggler, the person. That's what they were. Unless you were saying the TikTok was funding all her illegal criminal mur murderous activities. That's the only reason why I see that you associate TikTok with that. Or if she was on TikTok, you know, hyping up or bragging about her illegal criminal activity. Other than that, she's just a fucking regular ass dumb ass girl. That's basically what it is. <sighs> um, another God, what? Mm. The um, the YouTube ladies. God, dog, and I can't think right now. I really am like out of sorts, y'all. I come back to that story too. I'm possibly gonna be doing videos majority of this month. I but right now I just can't focus. I ain't looked at the news for real, for real, for real, for real in the past few days. I know Matthew Perry died the other day. I don't, I don't know if I mentioned that in a, a, a video or not. Um, he played Chandler Bing on uh, Friends. I think Paramount got a Friends marathon going on right now. They did the same thing with um, when Richard Roundtree passed. It seemed like every time someone, somebody passed lately, they do a little marathon of their movies or their TV shows. I, I realize now that I know more Chandler Bing movies. He's not Chandler Bing. Matthew Perry's his name. I know more of his movies that he's been in than I've done actual TV shows that he's been in. Um, but Right now, they still don't have any cause of death. They're not even saying it's a drowning. He was found dead in his hot tub in L.A., age 54. Found dead in that hot tub. Um, the witness that called it in is wants to remain anonymous. Um, of course, me, I'm suspecting foul play, but the police are saying that there was no evidence of foul play, no immediate evidence of foul play being seen. They determined there was no drugs in his system. Um, I did not know that he had a real bad um, addiction that he would have been dealing with. Um, he even tried to, you know, off himself a couple of times due to his addiction. Um, he, he stated that he started drinking when he was age 10. You know, he started out as a child TV star. Um, so, because at first I was like, why is they so concerned about? Um, 
they kept stressing that there was no foul play. There was no foul play. There was no foul play. Basically, that's why when I reported, I reported that they, it's not being ruled as a homicide, but it's not even being ruled um, as a drowning at this time. I'm, I, it's based off of what I've learned. Even though they said drugs wasn't involved, they did the talk screen and they said the talk screen with drugs involved. I still think that um, a possible suicide, you know, had happened in this case. I could, um, I should do a reading. I did a reading on Maya when she died. But, oh, my head is killing me. I, I got bit by those mosquitoes that got bumps. The knots had went down, but I still got the remaining bumps in my head. And I, every time I scratch it, it makes it, like, react again. Jonathan Majors, Grace Jabari case. Uh, Grace Jabari, they finally did arrest her in the state of New York. Um, remember that Jonathan Majors was saying that she is the one who assaulted him um, and that they had video evidence to show it. Um, the DA was uh, was stating that they were going to file charges against his lawyers for manufacturing evidence or what have you. Um, manufacturing this video or what have you too. Um, I don't believe that they went any further with that. However, um, it was rumors out there that Grace had fled the country um, to avoid her being arrested. And when I looked it up, remember I said I found her. She was in London, but she was working. So, um, yeah, she was doing like some type of production or whatever. Or trying to put together some weird ass production. But she came back to New York and she walked her ass into the the jailhouse and surrendered the prosecuting attorneys the DA, district attorney office they are deciding not to press any charges against her um, because their main goal and their main focus is making sure they get Jonathan Majors um, they are bringing up old cases or old complaints or they're bringing up situations, I think, from when he was in college and shit like that to show proof of, to help um, build a foundation for their case to show that he has a pattern of abuse or what have you. Um, but the trial, again, has been pushed back again. I think it's November 21st now. It's getting around Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, the holidays. It's so much shit going on in the court systems. I don't even know if I'm going to keep paying attention. Like, he should have went to court back in March. This is going on November now. And they keep delaying it, keep delaying it, keep delaying it. 
they are really, really, really trying to build a case against this man. And again, Grace Jabari is not the one that's filing charges. The state of New York are the ones who are pressing charges against him. She does not want to file charges at all. Um, yeah. There's been so many different reports come out now that, again, are conflicting information. One police, they say, they're saying in the news that one report is saying that when police showed up, they showed visible laceration. They showed that her hand was broken, what have you. But then we see her on camera not long after at the club, kicked it up, nothing broken. No finger brace on, no nothing. She was just, you know, getting drunk. And matter of fact, she did get drunk again later at night. Um, Anywho, uh, it was something else though. I hate when I can't remember, but I didn't write shit down because I said this was going to be a PATV anyway. Yeah, I guess that's what it still ended up being. But I'm at work. I'm around the corner from my job. So I will see y'all in the next video. Um, tonight on BET Plus starts King the Business. I am going to review King the Business, but you won't see a video a recap until possibly Sunday. I don't know, but I might, it depends on how I feel if I'm going to do it tomorrow, but it possibly Sunday. Um, so, y'all have a good day, and uh, protect your peace, protect your energy, because that's what I got to go over here and try to do at work today. Peace.